RSV can be a scary diagnosis. If you want to understand more about RSV in order to help your children when they're sick, watch closely to this video. We'll explore what RSV is, its symptoms, and how it spreads, as well as complications and steps to prevent it. I'm Meg Conover, Physician Associate, and let's get into it. First, let's understand what RSV is. Respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, is a common virus that causes respiratory tract infections. Most people have had an RSV infection early on in life, maybe even several infections. It's highly contagious and can affect people of all ages. It's especially concerning for infants and young children. RSV primarily affects the lungs and airways, leading to symptoms ranging from mild, cold-like symptoms to more severe respiratory issues. Typically, RSV infection lasts seven to 14 days. What are the symptoms of RSV? Here are some common signs and symptoms to watch out for. A runny or stuffy nose. It often starts with symptoms similar to a cold. You may notice lots of clear nasal drainage, like a faucet running from the nose. Cough, persistent coughing, and sometimes even wheezing. Fever may or may not be present. Rapid breathing can occur in young children if they're having difficulty. These symptoms can be concerning, especially in infants and even more so in premature babies and those with weakened immune systems. It's important to know how to recognize and manage them. The reason is because their airways are tiny. They're not well developed and that mucus and congestion can block them so they can't breathe. If your child shows these symptoms and you're concerned they might have RSV, you can head to the doctor and get a simple nasal swab test to check and see. However, it's not always necessary and probably more useful for little babies and those at highest risk of complications, such as those with asthma or immune or respiratory issues. Complications of RSV are typically pneumonia and bronchiolitis. Pneumonia is an infection of the lungs that cause difficulty breathing. Bronchiolitis is an infection of the small tubes that carry air in and out of the lungs. When these tubes are infected, they get swollen and full of that mucus that makes it hard to breathe. Bronchiolitis often affects children younger than two years old. It's usually caused by a virus, and in most children, bronchiolitis will go away on its own. But some need to be seen by a doctor or even hospital. Here's what you want to watch out for. Signs that your child is getting sicker and may need urgent medical treatment. First, difficulty breathing. Signs of respiratory distress. This can be retractions. You can see the ribs when your child's breathing and it might look like their stomach is sucking in. Fast breathing, grunting, nasal flaring, tracheal or windpipe tugging, bluish skin, also called cyanosis of the fingertips, lips, or body, and fatigue. Sometimes children are difficult to awaken. This is when they're getting really tired of trying to breathe and is definitely an emergency. If your child is difficult to awaken, they may be so tired that they could stop breathing altogether. They might also stop eating or drinking or you may notice decreased wet diapers. These are all emergency signs and need to be treated in the hospital. If you see these signs, call emergency services or take your child to the nearest emergency room fast. So how does RSV spread? It spreads easily through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes. It can also survive on surfaces for several hours. This makes it highly contagious. Parents and caregivers should take precautions to prevent the spread of RSV, especially during the peak season, which is typically in the fall and winter and usually peaks in February, but this has changed since COVID. Let's talk prevention and treatment. Prevention hand hygiene, hand washing is crucial with antibacterial soap, especially when handling young infants. Avoiding close contact, limit contact with other relatives who might be sick, clean and disinfect services regularly, and vaccination. There are new vaccines this year that are being used for infants, young children, pregnant women, older individuals, and those at highest risk of severe RSV. Ask your doctor about it. There are at-home treatments that can help. Humidifiers can help make breathing easier. Suctioning the nose often, using nasal saline were paramount when my children had RSV. This allows for easier breathing. Encourage hydration with fluids, breast milk, and water if appropriate. Continue breastfeeding any infant with RSV. You can also give Tylenol or ibuprofen if appropriate for discomfort in children. I prefer ibuprofen in these cases. And lastly, this is something I always do. If my kids are really sick and I'm starting to worry, I will sleep in the same room as them. That way I can be aware if they get sicker or their breathing gets worse. Sometimes we don't always hear them over the monitor. Usually it's only a couple nights, but it can give you peace of mind. Pay attention to those spidey senses that you have. If you think your child's getting sicker or getting worse, call your doctor, go to the ER. I hope this video provided some key insights on how to recognize, treat, and watch for worsening signs of RSV. Until next time, I'm Meg Conover. Stay safe and stay healthy.